Best case scenario, Monday. Ah! <laughs> like oh that? My. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah. That's off camera? Yeah. Sorry, Dave. Oh, wow. <laughs> We've got a all hands on deck situation again here at Sparks Motors. Rob here has been building Heavy D's podcast studio for the last week and a half or so. He's got the platform done. Um, I like the design of that. That looks awesome. Thank you, sir. What else have you built for Dave? I got this, Spiral you know, we, staircase up at the house. Tree everything, house. Everything gate. of Dave's, like yes. every, everything from his kids. Couple beds. Patinas. A lot of patinas on. A lot of patinas. A lot of wood stuff. Little secret kids hideout spot in the kitchen island. Basically anything Dave needs to build. Whatever you're, you're he wants to dream up. I'm the guy. But right now we're building a podcast studio for the Heavy D checklist. Uh, right. He wants to bring that back, and we're almost there. A key component of all that is having a place to do the studio or to do the podcast. Right now, these are the anchors for the other side of the connect. The back side of the connect to keep us from tipping over. We're not going to have any sort of post. Okay. So the interesting part the... about this podcast studio that it's just basically hanging in the air, right? Yep. It'll just be cantilevered off. So it'll be 16 out and just floating. So he can have the whole gym underneath it and not have to worry about posts getting in the way. And... So the building of the podcast studio really is the hard part, the installation. Yeah, building is the easy part. Yeah. Getting it to not tip over on us is going to be the tricky part. Yeah, we got all the weight on one side. Basically, we have two connexes stacked on top of each other. The Like Rob said, the, the studio will cantilever out 16 feet. 16 feet. And then it will have braces on the other side holding it down. Yep. So we're going to have five of these brackets on the bottom, the back side. And then we're going to have stables coming from the very top, angled down to the ground. And also we'll have those anchor points from the very top. Hey, Ron's the engineer, so. Ron's the engineer, and you're, the, good. you're the guy making it all happen. Man. Yep. Awesome. It's Tuesday at 5 o'clock. We have until Thursday at 5 o'clock to basically right. get this done, hung up in the, the hangar, and ready to go for a heavy D checklist podcast. That's right. You know, but, we really thrive under pressure here. Yeah. So, so if you guys are hearing this, you're probably also hearing a Heavy D Checklist podcast, so stay tuned for that as well. All right. Okay, now get out of here. Let me finish. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cole Prost from your favorite YouTube channel, Sparks Motors. As I'm getting a little bit older, 38 now, I feel a lot of aches, pains, scrapes, bumps, bruises, more than I used to. But our good friends and sponsor of today's video, Bubs, have sent us a bunch of products to help combat that. I've been trying the, the MCT oil powder and the collagen protein. Now I mix this with my morning coffee, and morning green drinks, smoothies, oatmeal, cottage cheese. You can literally mix it with anything because it's unflavored. Now I've been taking this for about a month now since they sent it to us and all those aches and pains are slowly dissolving away thanks to the collagen protein. And look, as you can see, my mold's been growing extremely fast because it helps with hair, skin, and nails. And not only that, I mix the MCT oil powder with my morning coffee as well. It keeps me sharp as a tech and gives me the mental focus I need for whenever Dave needs me. So thank you for sponsoring today's video, Bubs. And if you would like to go get some Bubs for yourself, click the link in the description below and get yourself feeling great and doing some good. Now back to the show. Looking at everybody's welds, I think you and your arm are the best welders here. Did you get that? Yeah. That's on camera? Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. So when's Sweet. this going in? Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. We're still on board with it going in. Yeah, I think so. I don't see why not. You guys have been crushing it, uh, making the supporting you know, brackets for the podcast studio. Um, I think we're all just waiting on the material to get here and this what stuff to get made to haul everything over there and start install. We could start hauling stuff over there. You'll see a lot of this content from Heavy D on his podcast or on his uh, YouTube of the install and the podcast and everything. But we're looking to cover this from more of like Rob's point of view. What went into it from Rob and Iram getting this thing ready to go and installing. It. So yes, you'll see this on Heavy D's uh, YouTube but you'll see more of the work and the design and everything that went into it on ours. So thank you for watching and stay tuned because this is going to be awesome. That's what you want me to say? No, I just want you to keep working <laughs> when you film me. I can do that. Ha <laughs> ha!
I'll make sure you have that cap on, Al. You already thinking about repurposing this? <laughs> I need a rock screen to, you know, for flooding purposes on the river. Yep. No touchy. <laughs> no bumpers. <laughs> oh, that's no, a nice bumper. No bumper. Right here. <laughs> Feet up and hook them out to about here. So I mean, <laughs> I didn't realize how far that's gonna come out. Out to here. Well, for the forklift to be able to come up. Yeah. What? Climb this? Is that? My hands are slipping. <laughs> Do you think I can get higher? Well, yeah, I'm sure you can. I just need gloves. Okay, there's a challenge now. Grip. I actually have without I have, using feet. Without yeah, feet. I have never climbed the rope before. Okay. Not even in grade school. No gloves. Huh? No gloves. What do you mean, no gloves? gloves? Same. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You will try. Cole will try. <sighs> Get it, Alan. Oh, ow! Oh, boy. Dangerous situation. Oh, Dude, wizard powers. I've been already lifting stuff, so. <laughs> Just got done with my workout. <laughs> Hands are already taxed. <laughs> I might okay. have been able to do it. I already tried, and I was slipping. Are you going to try, Cole? So, no. No? <laughs> How are you feeling? How do I see you, anyway? You just point. Okay. Here he goes. Here he goes. Can he do it? Oh! oh <laughs> but you got to climb back down. <laughs> Alan, you had the phone turned around. Oh, the right strap up. Or just use the big pry bar we have on this side. Just grab it and go. Err, 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 err. I'd like to see that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I can use the end. Oh, there it goes. That looks pretty good right there. Put this thing up there. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good. Count it. Yeah, good luck. Six of these braces or anchors that go along the bottom here that attach to the connex holding it to the ground. And then on each side they're gonna weld the connexes together. And on this side, just for extra you know safety and security, they're gonna run a cable from the middle back to this beam, and then from that side to the ground. And that should be enough to cantilever the podcast studio onto the other side safely and securely. I guess we could see it. We shall see. You shall see. Fit, huh? Ow! 
Oh. Did you get that? Kinda. <laughs> oh, man. moments later all right we just got back from lunch and we've got the uh all the brackets secured across the bottom these are gonna go on the front side underneath the platform this platform is gonna sit here and then it's gonna get bolted down to the container day one we're basically just installing the hardware for everything um welding everything into place day two when the wires and everything the cables come in uh, when we hear from bud we'll we'll get to hang in the actual platform yeah, once we have cables, I mean, it should go pretty quick just setting the, the platform in place. This is probably the harder part, like just getting all the, everything structurally sound. Yes, definitely. Ones they were when we were pushing on yeah. earlier. Yeah, I was, I was actually like, uh, guessing whether or not it was a good idea. <laughs> to uh, have a platform hanging from these connexes. This was a 40 foot container cut in half. So the structural integrity of it is kind of shot anyway, right? So <laughs> <laughs> now they they did a whole nother like new steel frame like on the back side like where that side's cut so there's an actual like steel frame in there it's yeah. not just like flimsy so i just got off the phone with bud and he told us best case scenario monday ah! sorry dave no working out this weekend I just we, have chains. we could hook it up with chains and do it right now. We're gonna have a podcast tomorrow. That would be what Heavy D would do. He would be like, no cables, F cables, gotcha. chains. I was gonna go look for a bunch of chain, but I got a better idea and a faster way to find chain. I got a guy. Alan! Hey man. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you know where I could find like 60 feet of chain, half inch chain? We don't have hardly diddly squat as far as that. Really? Okay, I will look. I bet Skeeter knows where there's a chain. Bad reach. It's not necessarily inch, but it's a... Uh... Come on! Seven, seven. That's it. You got... 20 feet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You're in about 20 feet. 20 feet! Yeah, you're on Dude, dude. What'd I tell you? Alan at first was like, oh, I don't know about it, but he got him excited about looking for chain, and he found chain. I didn't realize chain. that we were going to have some of that lighter chain. Hey, you guys can't take all that chain because I need some of that chain for tomorrow. Ooh, look at this. It's already been all pulled out. Yeah. Looks like. Or just morning, my wife, I could talk to my wife into it. Yeah. No. Oh, that's this, that's this one. Oh, that's this one. Right? Uh, that's all these, uh, uh, tire chains. And there's only like a six foot piece yeah, with yeah. no ends. All you have left is all the big heavy duty army chain. There'd be enough of that if you need it. Sure we can do that. Appreciate whatever chain you don't use or whatever, you bring it back so I can use it tomorrow. Okay. That's a deal, Al. So we have two 20 footers. You got some more, so just take you only need that 40 How's feet or do you need more? Well, we probably need more. We need 92 feet total. Leave me two. <laughs> that little one. It's like a workout. Yeah. <laughs> hey. What up? Thanks for lunch. Yeah, we brought chains too, man. Okay. 
Lots of chains. We got freaking 500 feet of chain probably. But we got chains. If you want to do it, let's Overachiever. do it. Overachiever. I like it. All you got to do is put a chain to that and a chain to that and you're golden, you pony so boy. Easy. Huh? You make it sound so easy. Well, uh, yeah. It is. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring the chains in. Yeah, all right. I can tell how excited Rob is from here. Careful, Al. Careful? Like I could slip like oh that? My. Al, go! <laughs> Scared. Whoa! Oh, there's no back wall in here. All right, shut the door, John. <laughs> I'm on day like five of my Bubs challenge. Now I've mixed everything with this. Uh, done with my coffee, smoothie, uh, apple juice. It's all tasted pretty good. Today I'm actually trying it with Athletic Greens. I've done the Athletic Greens uh, travel package. I've done uh, what a, the MCT oil and the collagen. And uh, this is the most daring combination that I've done so far. It might taste a little weird, but uh, let's give it a shot. I'm always surprised that like it says it's unflavored. All I can taste is the athletic greens. It's like a lot of powder, a lot of stuff in there. But I can't really taste it. So it's just like you can literally mix this with anything. Nice. A little bit more so we can actually get a good one. Or, or around. Yeah, don't matter. You can cut that all the way off if you want. Pass me my glasses, please. This one. You can tag. I can yeah. tag it? Uh-huh. Okay. And me well, well, here on the top. Okay. Wow. Alan, yes? You want to film? Alright. Quick, go away. Goals with him. He doesn't want to spend time with people that he's not like. This is around the same time There you go. See, no, All right, coliosis. Hey man, what do you got for me? You asked. Every time, every time we start one of these things, I know it's gonna be an adventure and I have no idea where it's going. Ask and you shall receive. So you obviously saw over there, you saw the double decks now. Okay, you saw yeah. how big it is. Do you yeah. see the tape lines on the floor? Yeah. Okay. You're asking when, me what, like I'm trying to make a video out of. I just need to know when it's going to be done. So that's the that's the funny part, man. How things work around here is, if you think it's going to be like a two day project, it's really a two week project. So let me show you something. Got a text last night from old 
David Von Sparklefield. <whistles> Dave's at 10.30. Yeah, 10.30 last night. He says... He sent you that? I'm thinking maybe <laughs> using this for the <laughs> podcast table. This or this? What are you doing with this, amigo? Podcast table. Yeah. So, this is the vision. <laughs> you sit around here, okay? Hey, Jose, do you have the vision? No. <laughs> TV, right? Because here's the thing. You're always like, oh yeah, show the clip or whatever. Joe Rogan yeah, does it, Logan yeah. does it, all these guys do it, right? And it's like, oh yeah, you know, you start talking about video, you want to show you're a clip. You're gonna need a video, yeah. Boom, baby. So the TV's right there, so you're gonna sit around it, and it's gonna be freaking golden. Are you guys gonna like cut the, the side down so you can actually sit around it? We're gonna make it as simple it? as possible, yeah. It's gonna be usable. That's the thing, man, is like, we, were th we, we went back and forth like, oh, do we build a cool wooden one? Do we build a cool metal one? And well, then- it gonna look like this on yeah, top? Just, we're just gonna run with it. <clears throat> Coolest part of, still yet to come. Then you saw how there was tape on like the Connex? Yeah. Backside, Luber's gonna spray paint a giant like mural. mural. But it's gonna be like, if you're sitting on the bed of the truck, so the bed, the truck's going down the road. That's pretty cool. It's not pretty cool. It's what really cool. What kind of truck cool. is it? Probably. We, you, you actually don't see the truck because you just see the bed. What's gonna be in the background? Some oh, of your guys' adventures? Well, it's like, it's like you're sitting there. I'm sitting here. Connex walls right here, and then it's like the desert scene, the road. You know? Yeah. Because the whole hangar already is desert. Yeah. It's like a road trip on its own. Exactly. Man, I can't wait. Not that I'll ever be a part of a, a vlog or a podcast, but like I'll go sit there and pretend. Do I got my, is that about the right height? You realize once you swing out, you're gonna go right back to where you started. <laughs> or I uh, hit the floor. Huh? Drag, out, drag that bean bag out for him. Huh? Drag that blue bean bag out. Oh out. yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> 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 Gee whiz, Batman.